All right, back to Bob. I think Bob is like the Karens. You know, if there's like a grown up, grumpy ass man, like he's like, hey, God damn it, get off my fucking front lawn. That's a Bob or something. <laughs> you, you think so? Bob, Grady, or Charles. Grady. That's the black, the black one. Grady, Grady can be white or black. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's the oldest name Grady ever. Grady is a versatile nigga. You are 100 I think you gotta be Grady. from the South, though. No matter what color Grady. you are, you gotta be originally from the South or your family was from the South. <laughs> you was born in the South or something, nigga. You wasn't born in like Detroit and somebody named you Grady. I yeah, I just thought of like something to I eat, like fuck grits fuck. or something. And like, yeah. like, you must eat grits, Grady. Yeah, don't you? Grady, man. <laughs> I eat grits, nigga. I don't hate grits. I'm fucking. Go there. Yeah. Hey, mama. I know y'all hate me. Guess what? I mean, well, y'all should have been FNBS Podcast, Hey, with J. Sugar Shane. If y'all would have heard the first time I did that, it was FNM and S Podcast. It's FNM and S? FNM and S Podcast. And we ain't got shit to talk about today. <laughs> it ain't shit to talk about, bro. Everything's sad, bro. Everything in the world right now is trash bags. So we gonna do. Let's focus on some else. We gonna keep it pop culture-y. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want to let y'all know. We got your talk. We got an R.P. Scotty Pippen's son, Antron Pippen. You know what I mean? Just because that's sad, bro. Just losing a child. That's fucking crazy. Especially some random shit. Like damn, they don't even know what happened. Uh, nigga was 33, man. Young, bro. Young, young. Like you know what I'm saying? We just talking about how long motherfuckers live these days, bro. Mm -hmm. It was dropping like flies. Mortal Kombat dropped last week. It was all the rave. So we definitely gonna talk about that, Shane. I probably ain't got to say this, but it blew uh, King Kong Godzilla out of the water, bro. Oh yeah, I saw that. I broke uh, like stream box stream office. wise, yeah. stream wise too. Like you know yeah, what I mean? I like it <clears throat> fucking. But that's obvious. Like who the fuck? Like who the fuck would think otherwise, bro? Like, yeah. Fucking Mortal Kombat, nigga. But we gonna talk about that shit. You know what I mean? I mean we got we got some random tidbits. Let me let me let me let me get some random tidbits. Let me get into this because this shit was funny to me. Okay. Did you see the Conor McGregor looking like, bro? No. <laughs> they got buzzers selling drugs. No. Bro, it's not the fact you got buzzers selling drugs, bro. You got the laptop. Look him up, bro. It's on TMZ. This nigga looks put about 15, 20 years on Conor. It make you look a little more British. Hey. Hey. Connor's Irish. I know, but he looked British. Oh. <laughs> he looked like all them European motherfuckers. Like, oh, you know what I gotcha. mean? They got, they got the big chins and shit, big jaw. You know what I'm talking about? Like, is that racist? I don't give a damn. That's how they look. Anyway, that shit was hilarious, bro. I feel like we way too dark in here. Let me turn some light up. Hold on. Anywho, yeah, bro. Sorry, we have some technical difficulties with these lights. You know what I mean? I don't know. It just should be happening sometimes, y'all. But yeah, bro, I thought that was funny as fuck, bro. Did I get any, did I get any details on that shit? Um, he even tried to say he was Conor McGregor, bro. This nigga name was Mark and I, bro. He got pulled over in the UK. Blah, 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 blah. But he was throwing away some drugs and some cell phones that got popped. Oh, and then tried to say he was Conor McGregor. How was that going to help you in the situation? Nigga, you still got caught with some drugs and cell phones. Nigga, you still going to jail, bro? Yeah, they don't care who you are. And you can't pull off a fighter. Like, you can't mimic a fighter. Like, you can have the face. But if you ain't got the physique, nigga, it's, right. it's not going to work. Right. And nigga, you're not fucking Conor McGregor, bro. Like, right. Just, that shit was hilarious. But, like, I think it's funny. When I say it's nothing to talk about, like, I'm scrolling down TMZ, bro. Like, Cause that's, that's the place I go to to get random weird shit. I don't go there for nothing substantial. Every now and again, they got something real. But, like, how is that news? <laughs> like, how does that make your scrolling page, bro? Just because it's funny. That should be, I mean, it is funny. That's why, yeah. I, that's why I wrote it down. But that should be in the pocket somewhere. Any look like I think, that got arrested for something stupid, it'd be funny. But that's how you know there's nothing going on, bro. Right. There's nothing going on, bro. It's just, it's just police killing people. It's motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? What else is happening? What else is happening in the world, Shane? Uh, they had the uh, shitty Oscars. Oh, those Oscars. Yeah, people saying that up. Yeah, they're mad Chavo Boston didn't get best actor. It's it's just random people. Like, even his <laughs> family was like, Chavo wouldn't have been pissed off about that. Like, everybody relax. A couple other people like Reggie Bush, too, was like, it's not about, like, reward, reward don't define your legacy and shit like that. It's just, it's a Twitterverse that was in the uproar. It, right. wasn't, it wasn't people. It was the Twitterverse. Yeah, I, uh. And people would like attention. And Even though if it was me, I would have gave it to him though, just cause. Yeah, I yeah, cause he has no other chance to get one. Like I would have just gave it to him as a homage. Like you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Well, then Even, like because I, I didn't see either movie yet, and I'm sorry because I was supposed to watch uh Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, the one he got the nom for. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know what the fuck the Anthony Hopkins movie was, and that's my dude. Like I fucking love Anthony Hopkins, and I don't know. Yeah, what I the was fuck. I was literally just about to say that. Like they gave it to Anthony Hopkins. He is a fucking legend. Like if anyone's gonna get the Oscar, it's probably gonna be him, regardless of what he's in. Yeah, it's but fucking it, amazing. It, but it's still not about that. It's still gotta be the role. Still gotta be worthy. And like I said, I haven't seen either movie, so I can't speak on who should have got it. He was playing you a uh, he was playing a like a dying dad. Still, still you know gotta see saying? the movie. Like, yeah, I right now I hear. That. I still gotta see it. Like I don't give a fuck what he was doing. Yeah. Like I still gotta see it. Like. And that sound like an ordinary ass role, like too already off top. It sounded like it's probably like a. It's, I mean, dude, and usually in those huge drama movies, they're the uh, ones that win those best actor. Yeah, and I hate that. You know shit. what I'm saying? I and that's probably what that movie is. I fucking is. hate that shit too. And I think Chadwick Boseman did an awesome job, and but I think no, it's but definitely my Oscar was a drama. It was fucking actual real life history shit. I didn't mm-hmm. see him neither, so I'm gonna watch both and see what's up. See how I feel. You know what yeah. I mean? Um. And I'm minus out the bias. Yeah, but I know. Um. Yeah, I, I I feel well. I don't I don't I don't know. I've never met him, but Chadwick Boseman doesn't seem like someone. He seems like a very humble person. Like I don't. Think, yeah, like I wouldn't his, see him his, being, his brother. His brother made a statement. It was like Chadwick didn't fucking put much into awards. Like he wouldn't have gave two fucks about that. Yeah, like those are the real he ones. He wouldn't have been mad. We're not mad. Like we don't give a fuck. Like, right. Like he still is who he is or who he was or you know what I mean. Like his legacy remains. Yeah, it was fucking hot as balls. But what you got, bro? What you got for us today? Well, going off of that, did you know Jerry Seinfeld never accepted an award. He was offered. I mean, just imagine all the awards Jerry Seinfeld was offered. He was like, "I'm not accepting an award for comedy, like, um, and for what I do. I think it's ridiculous. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, um, he's like, because it's all it's all stupid, like bullshit anyway. Like, I just think that's dope. Like, he's just gonna do what he does. He don't care about the awards. He's just mm-hmm. making his money. I think that's fire. It's like you know you do something for the love of it, not for yeah exactly fucking attention. Yeah, he had a better point about it. It was just something I can't I, I can't exactly remember what he said, but yeah, it's just for the love of it for real. Yeah, yeah. shout out Colleen, she first one to join the uh, join join the neighborhood, bro. Hables neighborhood, y'all. If y'all don't know, you know what I'm saying. We got the new group where you can join. You can get outtakes of the pod. I'm gonna be doing exclusive live streams with the members. All kind of other fun shit. So join it, man. As of today, even though today is Tuesday, y'all listen on the Friday. Y'all know how this goes. Damn, three days removed, bro. God damn, y'all just ridiculous. <laughs> like I don't understand anything. What else you got, Shane? Um, it was uh, going off of what literally what you just said. Damn it. Damn it. Well, let me get let me get in here, bro. Okay. These ahead. cicadas coming right, and we know it. They call the Brood X skaters for some reason. I don't know why they call the Brood X. But like, I'm I'm okay with cicadas, bro. Like, and I hate bugs. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hate bugs. I hate them. But I'm a type of motherfucker. Like, I'm. I can handle absolution in the sense of like they gonna be everywhere and nothing I can do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can't avoid them. I can't just. They probably gonna end up in the house to an extent. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I was reading the article today because it was an article talking about when they gonna come, like early to mid a mid May. But they started talking about the process, like of so 17 years ago, these cicadas, which is known as brew whatever, laid eggs. Those eggs went into the ground for 17 years. But, like, they started bringing down the process of how they come alive and come to the earth, and I just got creeped the fuck out. Ew. Like, I got a whole new perspective, and I'm like, fuck, I shouldn't have read this. You know, I just think... Because now they more gross. Yeah. And it's the red-eye joints. The Brood X is the red-eye ones, too, so... But I don't care about that. I remember those in my in my life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I thought you were about to tell me that these cicadas are about to be like poisons or something. And then when since you didn't say that, <sighs> I wouldn't be surprised if the news was like, everybody watch out for these cicadas. You need to go get these special things, suits to bro, wear. You never know, bro. <laughs> I'm just you never know. They, they just are, love to spread already, that fear porn. That's all I'm already, saying. We already got the cicada barriers, which we've never had. But I don't know how many cicada fucking infestations you lived through. I've been through two. That I can remember. I can only but remember one seventeen year one and one whatever the fuck it was. I can only remember one. You know what I mean? Like, but and uh, it was pretty wild, but... Only one of them was really, like, heavy duty. You yeah. know what I mean? That was when I was, when I was really young. But. Yeah, and I was playing outside a lot more, so, and then I didn't have a problem with it, so that's yeah. the way I'm going to look yeah. at it. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro, but... I mean, they're loud as shit, and they're fucking annoying. They mad loud. Yeah. They mad loud, bro, but they be everywhere. Yeah. Like, when they come like this, bro, they are everywhere. How long do they stay? I don't remember that. I don't remember either. I, I was a kid. Like, I do remember we did have a small infestation, like, 2000 and... Three or four or something like that, but it was like whatever that other year is. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? It wasn't the seventeen year ones. They was kind of out, and maybe they was around for a month. Hmm. I don't know though. I don't remember. That could be completely fucking wrong. Jeez. I just know I was looking around the hills, and I wrote. I had a city beat newspaper with rubber bands wrapped around it, and I was baseballing them niggas. And mm-hmm. I ain't even good at baseball, nigga, but I was smacking them hoes. So, smacking too. <laughs> so do these? Uh, and I, I, I need. I want to look this up actually. Do look you it know? up, God. Do you yeah. know if cicadas come from just like from everywhere? 
Like literally, like uh, cicadas just come out of the dirt. Fifteen all states. all over, all in fifteen states. Mm-hmm. That's see. another thing I read. Did I did I, did I put that in here? Brute X Cage went the first one in the summer. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I was thinking like, motherfuckers couldn't go outside last year. <laughs> Look, like, I just think it's funny that summer coming around and now it's gonna be distracted by cicadas. Y'all don't be out there acting crazy, bro. Driving stupid. That is hilarious. Like you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, you're in the house. Oh, People that, are. For- you can go outside, but we got them 17 year joints out there. Right? <laughs> don't get too pretty, ladies. Hey, I, can you imagine people? I mean, people gonna be there like, oh, oh, nigga, I got dreadlocks. I'm gonna be one of them. Like, oh, yo, go no, me, stop, go me, quit it, like, go get my house. Do you want to hear the states? So it yeah, says, yeah, 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 yeah. in about a month or so, says this part, uh, cicadas will begin to emerge in parts of Delaware, Georgia, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Maryland, Michigan, New Jersey, New York, North Carolina, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, Virginia, and West Virginia. Bro, those shit's gone. Watch some freak shit happen, like you saying. Watch it be some shit where, like, oh, now they're in more places. Like, yeah. now they're all over the place. So it's just the East Coast. It's fucking bullshit. Like, the, you know, top East Coast. Yeah. It is what it is, bro. So I'm gonna assume you haven't watched Captain America or Winter Soldier Falcon. No, I haven't. I know it has a happy ending or some shit because it just yeah. I was gonna say just I'm going to watch it this week, but I don't know because like I gotta get everything done before Friday because I'm gonna be gone from the surgery for eight hours. I'll have it watched before the next pod, okay. at least the first half of it. Well, you still ain't watched fucking Don't Let Go, bro. That's it's gonna be. A, I'm waiting to do this awesome ass movie breakdown because this this well, is the most breakdownable movie we have ever not broke down yet. Okay. Out of all the shit we review, bro, this has the layers to just review and review and theorize and like, oh my god, dog, fire! You just don't even. Give I'll a try fuck, to watch man. it tonight. I'll try. No, nah, man, fuck you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Hey, 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 yeah, I have nothing. Hey, hey, it's hot in here. What else you got, dog? Uh, well, what I was gonna say, you, the reason why you should definitely watch that is like some parts of that are gonna be in the new Captain America four, so it's gonna be very important. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit, bro! I'm supposed to call Lindsay. Lindsay, I'm sorry. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Lindsay. Next week. Next week. Now, what'd you say? Oh, my bad. My bad. Uh, I was just saying that you should definitely watch that because a lot of, not only is it good though, but a lot of the stuff that that, that was in that show is going to be in the new Captain America 4. That's going to be really important. Of course. You know? Of course. They did say everything was going to run together. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's fire. Uh, Citizen Kane loses 100% fresh score on Rotten Tomatoes thanks to 80 year old review. Mm. Say, say that one more time. The movie Citizen Kane. It, it had 100% on fre- on Rotten Tomatoes, and it lost it thanks to an 80-year-old review, which I don't understand what that what the fuck that's supposed to mean. Me either. That's why I'm like, sit it again. I'm about to look right now. Of why? Because now I need, I need to know why. Yeah. Citizen Kane, I don't know if that's one I've ever seen. I know it's, it's a... It's a black and white one. I know it's a fucking, uh, like, classic. You know what I mean? It's supposed to be a fucking classic, but I don't know, I don't know too much about it. I've never seen it, I don't think. <clears throat> it says, um, it's no longer the perfect movie. At least according to Rotten Tomatoes as... Fuck Rotten Tomatoes. Either way. Rotten Tomatoes was terrible. Bro. Yeah. yeah as, y- uh, y'all bad at y'all job. Bro. Yeah. That's what I'm Orson Welles' classic is universally acclaimed. A widely considered to be among the greatest movies of all time. It's long held perfect 100% certified fresh score on reviewer uh, website after Rotten Tomatoes recently added a negative 80-year-old review to the 115 positive reviews. The score has since dropped to 99%. Oh, what the fuck? Who cares? What the <laughs> hell, man? <laughs> like, the Negative Citizen Kane review was written for Chicago by May something as a play on words. I don't know what the fuck. No, I, that, it's, why is it not telling me what, what the negative review was for, though? None of that makes sense. Yeah, I don't get it. You just wanted to fuck up the movie? Yeah, that's fucking stupid. Yeah, that's, See, that's, that's what. Well, there's probably more to it. But. Like, you ain't got nothing better to do, bro. Like, yeah. let that movie be the movie it was. Yeah. And just move I don't think I like. I didn't know that movie at 100. percent And like, you know what I mean? Like, you so say, who gives a fuck? Like, I just don't I'm understand. Not, why. I'm not even gonna watch it to see if it was worth it. Like, I don't know. Who knows? Like, yeah, I've never seen that either. Citizen Kane. Since I say it's it's labeled as one of the greatest movies of all time, now I feel like I have to watch that. I know Citizen Kane is a popular movie just because I'm of not. It, but I'm, I never just gave it a shot. I'm know? not ever gonna watch that, bro. Really? Yeah, man, ever, never, never, ever, never, ever, never. It's never going. It's never going to happen. But what if it is really great? I don't give a damn. <laughs> it could be great where it's at. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. That's what I say to that. Oh, that's 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 what I say to that motherfucker. Hey, did you watch the UFC fight? Oh yeah, I watched the dude that did the you love whole it? all the fights. Did you love it? Dude, it was one of the greatest fight nights I've, U- I've watched U- in a while. Usman, Usman. Oh man, bro, it was it Usman or Usman? U- Usman. 
Usman. Usman, nigga is so. African. Yeah, Usman. Um, bro, it wasn't even just his fight, man. All of the fights that led up to that fight were fucking amazing. Well, I brought that up to say, uh, you know, the whole Jake Paul shit. Did you hear what you said about Jake Paul? Um, who? Uh, U- Usman. No, Usman. What he, not what he said. He's like, I'll, he's like, I'll do Conor McGregor in, but I really want to whoop Jake Paul's ass in so many words. I think I got the quote. Oh, what do you say? We say, uh. He said he'd been looking for an excuse to punish one of these internet guys. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, he would definitely get whooped. I can say it's not even like he's a UFC fighter. Like he might have a, a disadvantage, dude. That motherfucker can. can box. Yeah, he'll beat his he, ass. He is like a he's a fucking perfect specimen. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And then Dana White screaming at him, "Fight a boxer!" Like fight a fucking boxer. Yeah, dude. and then talk to me. You know like, what I'm saying? Fight a fucking boxer. <laughs> You're fucking crying. He was all up on the camera. He was like this. Like fight a fucking boxer. Like get back, man. Back <laughs> a big fucking marshmallow head up from the camera, Dana. Gee. Damn. And he cried after he like a baby, man. It was like a like almost like I hated super that, traumatic. bro. I hated that. Bro, that was no real face. victory, bro. That you really wasn't look no like real the crying victory. emoji. That's you what you look like to me. Shit. Um, yeah, I mean, you beat Ben Askren, who just came off of a hip surgery, who specializes in wrestling. Like, good fucking job, bro. Ben Askren. You know? Nobody give a damn yeah. about no Ben Askren. Neither. Hey. Nobody. But can I break down that fight? It was fucking amazing. Break it down, though. All right. Did you watch all the fights? No, I'm I didn't curious. watch none of shit. Nigga, I was working. I ain't, I ain't do nothing. All right. I can't remember their names. So, but whatever. And so, like, one of the, the first fight, it was a chick fight. And um and these were all Chick-fil-A. like these were all for like the the championship shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm gonna smoke while you talking shit. Go ahead. Okay. But uh in the first fight, it pretty much just finished with uh this girl put this girl in a fucking I said this girl put this girl. So like yeah, it doesn't really narrow it down. Who else is Yeah, God but whatever. Damn, shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But she put her in a crucifix. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. she was like you know where you hold your hurt arm with her like her legs and you're holding this one and then she just started wailing on her face God and then stopped damn. the fight. It was fucking fire. What else have a shame? Uh second fight. Dude, this was crazy. Okay, so um, now I can't remember uh, either of the dude's names either, but I, but the part that was crazy about the fight, it was it was actually a really good fight, but at one point, one of the dudes kicked the other guy in the back of the knee, yeah. and then he uh, his, his leg just died. It was crazy. Mm. Like, as soon as he... It, it was like uh, he hit those nerves, and it shut his whole leg down. That's, like, that's part of that funny bone nerve, too. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And he didn't even realize it at the time, so, like, he kicks him. Or it's like the funny then, bone nerve, not part of it. So, yeah. Yeah. So he kicked him, and then his leg just, like, went limp. And then instead of falling, he, like, tackled dude. So mm. he was still able to, like, do something. So he just kept, like, keeping him down. And then you saw his leg just, like, kind of, like, dangling. And then it's not broken or anything. It's just dead. Yeah. And then he gets back up, and he's, like, wobbling all over the place. And then the ref stopped the fight. And he was, and then he was, like, he had him stand up. And he was, like, I'm fine. And then stumbled again, like, with his leg, like, twisting. It was so weird because he couldn't stand on it. So they called the fight, and he was, like, fuck. And then they asked him about it. He's, like, yeah, and he kicked me, and my whole leg went numb. And uh, he's like, it's, dude, it's crazy. It was so fascinating. That's Never seen that before. Disgusting. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. where your leg just dies for a little bit, like temporarily. I'm like, gonna f- so have to look that up bro, at some point. That's yeah, disgusting. it was wild. And then literally the next fight was uh, the fight where uh, Chris Weidman broke his fucking leg over. Fuck, I forget his name. Chris, but he, Chris Weidman? Yeah, broke his fucking leg over the other dude's leg. You didn't see that yet? If you haven't seen that video, I haven't bro. seen any of it. Oh my god! I did see, I did see Usman's knockout. Obviously, I saw oh, that. Okay. That's every fucking where. Dude, more than just that knockout was the leg break because that leg break was awful. I even shared Joe Rogan's reaction because he's like one of the announcers and it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. But uh, so basically, do you remember when Anderson Silva broke his leg? Yeah, hell it's the yeah, same yeah. break. The exact same thing happened. He Good goes, boy. it was the like they jabbed a couple times. Other dude didn't even throw nothing. Uh, oh. Other dude, I wish I knew his name. I'll figure it out. He uh he's the first fighter to ever win the fight without throwing any punch or any kick because yeah. he was just standing there dude threw a couple and he just kind of like jabbed him and then Chris Weidman threw this crazy kick and it made a loud ass noise so I was like damn that was a hard kick and then he goes to stand on it and it's all bent and Woo! broke just like Anderson Silva and then uh, they show the slow motion and just like Anderson Silva when he throws the kick it hits like right here. And his leg breaks and goes around the other dude's leg. And he doesn't realize it yet. So he goes and puts his leg back like in the standstill. And then it bends the opposite. Fuck that. Disgusting. It was fucking gross. Fuck that shit. The wall. And it's so sad because Chris Weidman, uh, he had been gone for a minute um, from USC. And he just trained to come back. So this was his like, you know what I mean? He was going for the belt to try to come back into uh, UFC and then just did that. Just broke his leg in half. You know what I'm saying? So he's da- he's never coming back. That's for sure. God. That's a bad break. It's the same break my dad got. And then he ended up having to lose his leg after a while. 
So oh, how man. can you? Why in the fuck? Yeah, crazy. You gotta look that up. That video. They have it in. I'm, I'm gonna look up. I'm gonna look up afterwards. I'm go to my um. Go to my Facebook page, and it's on my home page. It's just a clip of him breaking his leg. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go to that. I'm, I'm gonna do that. I'm, 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 it just shows the slow mo. But um, so then the next fight was uh Zhang uh Yang Ling, or she's a she's Chinese. And she's a fucking badass too. I watched that Bro, fight. I hope you didn't fuck her name. Why have all the people's names? It's hard. You didn't attempt nobody's but hers. Because I remember, kind of. And but, uh, she's the only one that had an identifying ethnicity that you could separate her from everybody. That's why I but remember that's it. That's the only name you tried. That's the that's God the only because I that's the only one I even remember close to it. Listen, lady, if you if your people listening, he didn't he if he messed up your name and said some other profane stuff in a different language. Look, she you know, might say my name wrong. You know, Man, Your name's Shay? No, no I mean, Shane. See, you go with this fucking Chinese, Asian, <laughs> Oriental mo- mocking mockery. Stop it. Stop Asian hate, Shane. Oh, I love Asians. <laughs> God damn it, man. I love you know, all people. FBS podcast, we leave it. That's it. Good night. But anyway, so, uh, Mike can't spin, nigga. so anyway, she, uh, the Chinese fighter, uh, she is uh, she's amazing. Cause I watched the one, the other fight. Her last like big fight was with that one girl. Remember we we, I, we talked about it before, where she literally put a fucking football in in this girl's forehead. Yeah. Like at the end, she looked the girl looked like ET. Like you know what I mean. But it was one of the greatest fights of all time. Easily the best girl fight, but probably one of the best she's UFC like fights. <laughs> Bro, she did. She like Chinese girl just kept punching her in the forehead. I, I guess cause her, dude, by the end of the fight, girl's forehead was like out. Like to yeah. my hat. God gross. damn, bro. Um, so anyway, I knew. We, we've I knew. seen that before, bro. Why do girls get so swole up, bro? Man, they go ham. You know, it, gr- those girls in the UFC, Those bitches just don't be blocking. Like, you got to put your guard up or something. Because you don't never see that butt in girl fights, bro. Well, they wait, get their whole yeah. melon exploded. Like, That's true. It is weird because like, guys just bleed even, a lot. They like, get split. I didn't even think you fucking shit getting. Like, how, what's what's expanding? Like what's what's Blood. making your shit swell up like that? Like, Ugh. I mean, I get that, but come on, man. Oh God, gross. I feel like you would be fucking. I feel like you would die, bro. Like I feel like you're fucking. I feel like what happened when they went back there? They had to like cut her forehead oh. to bl- like let blood come out or something. Fucking a. Uh, Dude, she looks terrible. But anyway, I knew that Chinese fighter. I knew that she was gonna be really good. And then she's and she's the champion. And then she's fighting Thug Rose. And I know Thug Rose is good. And she's like a little skinny white girl. She shaves her head. Just so if you Thug know Rose. if you've ever seen her before. Maybe, her, maybe. Her maybe. head is totally shaved. Yeah. Um, like it's like a buzz cut actually. And she's small. She's like 115 pounds. Yeah. And uh, and I was like, man, I feel like the Chinese girl's gonna win because she's a fucking. And she's like built too. I was like, but dude, I don't know. Thug Rose is a beast. And in the first round, they they, they kind of went at it. And, dude, this was crazy. While I was watching it with my buddies and stuff, they were, like, squaring up. And I, I remember just watching – because I've watched Thug Rose, like, a few times. And she'll throw this crazy kick that you won't see coming. I was like, dude, usually she, like, will throw a kick, right? And then she throws the kick and knocks her out. And one, like, bam, kick and out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, like, she dropped. And uh, so she won by knockout. And um, they got the Chinese girl up. She's stubbing everywhere. And she was, like, pissed off that they called the fight. She said she was still conscious. But that's just what they do when they get knocked out. You know, you don't know where you're at. Kind of yeah, thing. yeah. But she was saying, like, that's fucking bullshit. But I feel like I missed a good fucking fight night. Man. Oh, my God. It was amazing. And then then the fight was Usman and Masvidal. And they went a whole first round, which was really good. They both actually did a, a good job in the first round. Uz, uh, Usman, I think what made him – I don't know. The first round was very close. Usman took Masvidal down. But even while on the ground, Masvidal was throwing these crazy elbows. Like, and then that's what saved him for real from Usman, like taking him out in the first round. But he just started throwing these crazy uh, elbows in his face, and then was able to get up after he took him down. And then they started boxing it out. And then, they, then that was the end of the first round. And then the second round, fucking Usman catches him like with a right hook. It was like the most perfect right hook you could possibly bro, catch. I'm, I'm about to, I know I can watch this shit on something, bro. I'm yeah, I'm about to watch it because I'm, I'm in the mood for a good ass fight, bro. Bro. They're, yeah, they were great to watch. Dude, that that hit looked like it fucking hurt. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because it was just too perfect. And then he literally was out immediately. But then Usman, you know, comes down with a few more until the ref, you know, pulls him off. So, I mean, he was definitely out. They always let them niggas get in a few a few daggers. Yeah. And then he like, pat, pat. All right, the nigga's dead. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Masvidal. Uh, he's dead. Good on the fan. That's why he's a, that's Masvidal's a gangster, too. Because when he knocked out Ben Askren with that knee... You remember? Yeah. And then he came down and hit him like four more times. And then they asked him after the fight. He's like, you know, after you, you knew he was knocked out, was those last four shots necessary? He goes, yeah, they were necessary. The fuck? Oh, let me do it. Yeah, he's like, my <laughs> job is to hit him until the ref stops me. So hey, it's totally necessary. Let me do it. <laughs> what, do you, what do you want me to do? Well, some people turn around and walk because they know that they're out. And I think that's gangster too. But he also did not like dude. But uh, Masvidal and Usman, like, they had like a, 
I love when you see fighters, like, even though if they had, like, you know, like, obviously they're going to argue before the fight, but I love when they, like, you know, respect type shit. Yeah. Because um, Usman said, like, you know, respect and all that. And then Masvidal gave him his credit. He was like, yeah. He's like, he's the, he's the, the first dude to knock me out after, out of 50 fights. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, that's you know crazy. what I mean? Out of 50 fights, he'd never been knocked out. And he was like, he definitely deserves it. Everybody getting COVID and these niggas beating snot out of each other. Yeah. Dude, Blah. and it was a full house. Blah. It was the first full arena that they've had in over a year. And it was in Florida, of course. Isn't that fire? Yeah. Yeah, it was it was dope. Uh yeah. You know, mm. it, it was one of the most entertaining fight nights that yeah, I've seen. Yeah, in a while. broken legs and beat faces. Dead leg broken leg, dead legs. <laughs> fucking bloody snot rags all over the canvas. <laughs> Sounds good, man. While yeah, the rest of the world fucking losing their shit, these niggas taking out aggression. That's how you gotta live, man. That's how you gotta live, bro. Dude, and that's why I've heard uh, fighters, just because I watch Joe Rogan a lot, he says that you know fighters are usually the nicest people, yeah. and I totally believe that. Yeah. That's why I want to get my daughter in fighting as a young age because I feel like you just grow up to be more peaceful and you're probably more comfortable and confident with yourself too. Bro, she's a little bit whoop your ass because you talk too much. Anywho, <laughs> hey, bro, I saw some, I saw some uh, footage of Tom Cruise hanging off a. Of, Fucking thing in new mission impossible. I right? wish he fell. And I was like, man, fuck Tom Cruise. Yeah. So I typed that. Literally it wasn't gonna be a topic. I typed that in my thing like fuck Tom Cruise. And I went to the next line. But I was thinking like, who who are the people that like Tom Cruise in the first place? How did this nigga get so people. goddamn famous, bro? From when he was younger in his man, younger movies. Have you seen his younger movies? I hate that's why I hate Tom this Cruise. This nigga is the most plain I hate Tom Cruise. basic Ordinary ass person on the planet. I yeah. don't fucking got time. Listen, bro. It's Illuminati. All the people, all the people that fucking that Scientology, Scientology has a lot of yeah. has a lot of money too. But like <laughs> all, all the people, bro, that can have long standing careers. They get like and make another impo- Mission Impossible. Oh. Why Willem Dafoe ain't got that many movies? Like I'm just saying, bro. There's so many other because he's way uglier than Tom Cruise. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> hey. That nigga is ugly. I'm just saying, hey, like, you know, that's probably ugly. why. Hey, he ugly as shit. But fuck that man. Shut the man. Nigga's a Brad great, Pitt's had a long career. He's a great actor, bro. None of these guys made movies with Tom fucking Cruise. Where Brad Pitt been at? Brad Pitt has a shit ton of movies. I know he do, but where the hell he at right now? I bet I bet probably Tom Cruise movies. made a Mission Impossible last year, and he got one coming out this year. I guarantee you. <laughs> where Brad Pitt at? I bet he's making movies. Trying to fucking play Bob Marley. You fucking even think about it. I'll come somewhere and slap the shit out of you, Brad Pitt. Hey, Brad Pitt almost beat up uh, Harvey Weinstein. I thought that was kind of cool. Because he, uh, when, it was when he was with Angelina Jolie and he made a pass at Angelina Jolie. So he went up to her and was like, <laughs> you know. Yeah. I also heard, this is funny. Uh, Brad Pitt went out with Mike Tyson's ex-girlfriend. And Mike Tyson went up to Brad Pitt. <laughs> it was <laughs> Like intimidated. I wonder how that conversation went. Lift the motherfucker. Hey, look at your boy. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I'll punch your motherfucking face. I'll, I'll fuck it right in the ass, up, bro. <laughs> Those fuck. They're like, yes, yes, Mike. I don't, well, okay. Yes, Mike. But uh, please don't fuck me in my ass. So Perry make a blue van. He start I going mean, to that camera. What do you like, do? He's like, what do I do? Yeah, Perry, I don't know how many fucking <laughs> is. I what the fuck, man? You like dags? <laughs> they just start snapping in all kind of characters. Is that your favorite Brad Pitt movie? Well, hell, that's my favorite everybody movie. Really? And this is your favorite movie of all favorite, time? No, favorite, no, not favorite movie of all time, but everybody that's in that movie, it's my favorite movie of theirs. Yeah. I do love that movie, too. You know what I'm saying? I think my favorite Brad Pitt movie, like, is except probably for, uh, Fight Club. Except for Benicio. I, I just love his little small part of Sin City. He has a small part in True Romance, but I'm not going to say that because it's barely. smoking again. <laughs> so smokers are smokers when the chips are down. Oh, my God. And your chips are down. <laughs> Do you remember him in True Romance? Like literally, That's the mob my shit, bro. The mob bosses catch him while he's smoking every time, and like usually, like the guy would be like, "I don't know where they're at," and then they have to torture him. But he's like, "Hey, so where did they go?" And he's like, "Oh, they, they went that way, you know." Bro, that and you go funny. down there. I know they're unusual like, "Oh, suspects." He was funny as fuck. Bro. Oh yeah, I can't remember his name. Dude, I love unusual suspects. Got you smoking. <laughs> did you know that scene in, in, in Unusual Suspects where they're getting their mug shots and yeah. they're all geeking? It's fucking yeah. hilarious. And. uh Kevin Spacey someone, ruined everything for me, bro. That I know. Ruined it. He, he probably ruined some children's lives, so my shit is less important. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm upset. But he really, he was the wrong nigga to be in classics, bro. I know. God damn it. All y'all niggas need to stop, bro. Just bang. 
What did you I say? Know. I'm sorry. Oh no, I was saying that part where they're geeking in the lineup. Yeah. You know, and it's fuck that I love that part. Yeah, it was so all far. it was all improv and it was because they're actually the director was getting super pissed at them because they weren't taking the day seriously and they just kept farting. Yeah. So they're all geeking <laughs> at each other's fart. Like like if you watch it knowing that now, I it makes it even funnier. I remember that shit. And then uh and grown then, ass man. Yeah, bro. and the director could not get a good shot from them because they were being so immature, so he just like fuck it. And then he just threw in the funniest one. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That wasn't supposed to be a comedy hey, scene. Smoker's <laughs> a smoker when the chips are down. Yeah, he was like, Give oh, me man. all you got, cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on Avatar 2 is still coming Shane Do you give a fuck I had to ask this Was the first um, movie even You know what I kind of I kind of curious bro. Was the first movie all that though I wouldn't say it's all that It's a good movie though I'm not going to say it's not a good movie But the way it ended Do you know Do you want me to just tell you how it ended I remember but I don't remember I remember he had the Didn't he end up inside of a fucking blue thing too Yeah he becomes permanently Inside yeah, yeah. the blue thing I remember thing that Because shit. it was just the avatar mm-hmm. Now he's actually that So I am kind of Curious to see how this next movie will go Because now he's Doesn't have an avatar anymore You know what I'm saying Like now he's the avatar Because before he was in a wheelchair And all that all It's that gonna jazz. be more of a fantasy adventure Or they're gonna find a way to get him out of there Because if you can create the fucking technology You can recreate it mm-hmm. You know what I mean They kind of make it look like Almost like I don't know what you would picture uh, Europeans did to Native Americans, but it has to be way more brutal than that. There's, I, I just don't see them going in and just mowing people down like, like the army is doing in this thing. Like they were using it, they were using the island for something. Well, motherfuckers was getting slaughtered back in the day, bro. Yeah, but like, no, I mean, it was you, literally go through and kill motherfuckers. Like, let's get busy. No, there were wars. It's different between ravaging villages. Oh well, yeah, I get you see that. what I'm saying? Mm, yeah. Like and that's pill, not like what pillaging yeah. and running through and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, but I'm sure that it, happened. But is it supposed to have anything to do with that? I don't know. I think that's 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 what I get from it. Maybe it's just because they're all tribal. connected with nature and shit. Like, but that's just a tribe. They ain't got to yeah. be fucking Native Americans. It's all type of tribes. Like, it's tribe. It's people still people that live like in tribes. That I know, but movies do that though. Places. But you I don't know, think you always got to look for way. it. I, I think that's a reach though. It might be because it's hella tribal shit. And you might like, be right. It's hella like. It's all kind of. But they, you got they be a the white fantasy. man coming in here taking these blue people's land is what I'm getting from it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I think you're trying though. Maybe. Yeah, I think but, uh, I think you're trying a little bit. But right? you know, some parts it, it are, can be, of course. But if you see that in everything, you are gonna see it in everything. We like literally sit down and look at. There's nothing we can't look at and find it in there. Sure. You can find it. Motherfuckers that found it in Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. And you're right. I always look for those messages, so I'm like just trying to pick things apart. And I mean, I'm just yeah, getting you, what I get from it. You, you know, you can see them, but at the same time, like. When it comes to something like that, you gotta fuck, you gotta find some way to still enjoy the adventure, bro. Like, oh, like I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, like, I don't know that. I don't know. You, you could be right, but like, what you said about Planet of the Apes, and I can see that at the same time. I got that. I, I, I got that from Chris Rock. Chris Rock said that it was, it was, it was white man's fear of black people taking over the, yeah, the world, or whatever. especially from when the movie was first made and shit. Like, yeah, and you then know what I mean, like. I could see that. Well, is it a coincidence Martin Luther King was assassinated literally like the day after it appeared in the movies? That's why I was like, oh. Yeah, and then. uh, You see what I'm saying? No, I mean, I don't see that being a coincidence. But, and uh, apparently Charles Heston was like a big racist or whatever. Like, you know what I mean? Shocker. That's just what I know from, you know what I mean? Old folks. Mm -hmm. But, I don't know, bro. I think, I think something like that. It can be like that, but I think Avatar is just like, I think it's enough there to not go there. Mm -hmm. Because we can't go there with everything. And it's like, what's the point of creating anything? Yeah, I mean it could be reaching. I mean you know Charles I mean? Manson thought the White Album from the Beatles and the song Helter Skelter was about black people taking over the world, and I seriously doubt the Beatles made like they're they were. You know what I mean? And he was reaching, of course. You know, so like you, some people could like even the Planet of the Apes theory. I someone hate, could have just made it negative. <laughs> like, I have like for real, but it gets to the point where I hate everything. Like all I watch for real is YouTube now, because it's just niggas making their own content. Mm-hmm. Like. Everything is something like you can't even have a conversation with a person without it being something. Yeah. Well, I don't think and Charles like, Manson believes that. If shit get to that point, like I'm about, to, like if shit gets to that point, bro, I'm just gonna stop doing anything, bro. <laughs> like if shit gets to that, that point, gross. I'm just gonna stop doing anything, nigga, because I can't live my life like that, bro. Like I can't. Like I've already, I'm already there though. Like I've been fucking red pilled, bro. Like, and I think that's why some stuff is like, all right, that's a reach, but like. As much as if motherfuckers keep embracing it, it's just gonna create more of it. Like, mm-hmm. like whatever you feed into is like it's feeding the monster. And it's not like a few years ago to where like you can see the signs. Now it's like everything is intentionally a sign, or a sign is found in it, and then you got Twitterverse. 
Yeah, the Twitter verse is the worst. So it's like it's like now it's not even like you're not even reading between the lines no more. There's no there's not even signs to read anymore because everything now is a supposed sign of something. Well, yeah, everybody reads and reacts. You or can't yeah, you can't reacts. even navigate your life like real red flags are lost in all the false red flags. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like there's like nowhere to go. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's like I don't know. I think it's oh god, bro. Like shit drives me nuts, bro. Like on a daily basis. It drives me nuts, too. On a daily fucking basis. Like, there's, like, some stuff I don't be want to react to because of that. Like, I be want to read my comments because I got a lot of cool-ass people, like, the vast majority. But sometimes, bro, I just want to turn them bitches off and never respond to another one. Like, I like that, too. Like, when you told me to watch that movie that just, like, obviously was created so black people hate white people. Like, I don't even like that message, you know? Like, that's yeah. all. You know what I'm saying? Just... Anything like I don't even get why that's even made. Man, like like I mean, what you that, said. That shit made me mad as fuck, bro. Um, but on a positive note, what I was gonna say about Avatar that I thought was cool is the way they they connected everything. Like when they jumped on those monster things and they connect their part of their hair to this monster and then they yeah. become compatible forever type shit. I don't know. So that was it, that was hella matrixy. Yeah. So it was kind of cool, like in a way. And I feel like it's been so long. Maybe the second one will be pretty fucking dope. Bro, have you seen Ready Player One? Yeah, I love that movie. Okay. 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 Yeah, like I'm trying to think of other movies that's like Matrix Escape Reality. Mm-hmm. Like or different reality or you know what I mean? Jumanji. Like <laughs> Jumanji was fire. <laughs> like the original Jumanji still is, is the fucking it's some it's something different, bro. Some better about it. Like you can't beat David Allen Greer, bro. Yeah. Like that nigga is too goddamn funny, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> Like, get that man his flowers, bro. Like, him and Robin Williams together. And them stupid-ass kids was okay, I guess. I don't know what the fuck the kids was. It was like Robin Jurassic Williams. Park kids. Like, them stupid-ass kids. They was there. They was in the way. They were just there. there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, get out the way let Jeff Goldblum do his shit. Yeah. Move, kids. Let <laughs> Newman in there. Like, fucking Newman, bro. But I don't know, bro. It's, uh, it is it is what it is. We talking about Tom Cruise? Oh, shit. Good news, but, like... To me, it's good news, but it makes me want more news. They redoing, not redoing. What what is what is it when they uh reboot? No, not reboot. It's the same movie, but they make the quality better. Pretty much, Howard the Duck is coming to 4K. Well, that's a reboot. A re- like a remake is a remake. A reboot is the same movie, better quality. No, like they don't do it's, it's the exact same movie. They just changed the way it looked. Oh, oh, remaster. Right. Oh, yeah, remaster. Yeah, that's better. Um, but that Howard the Duck in 4K. And I said that's good news. That's dope. Good to see how Doug in 4K, not that 80s grainy shit. But why the fuck they ain't make, remaking Howard the Duck, bro? Probably don't know how. Why they ain't fucking remaking? That'd be, I mean, and, probably uh, because. And, and, and I'm nervous, bro. What? Because I feel like in the time we live in now, that movie being as inappropriate as it was, was just they could cut that. some shit and never tell us. I was just about to say that. Like, they probably won't, aren't going to make it because they can't make it. Because, you know, I mean, he's fucking bitches, he's drinking, he's smoking. Like, you'd have bro. to cut all that out, you know? Or you'd have to make it rated R, at least. They got so- they got away with Sausage Party. Make sauce- it rated R. They got away with Sausage Party, bro. Oh, my God. That movie. So bad. much other shit should be able to pass. Yeah, but it's, since it's... That's true. I mean, it, it does look like for kids, but it says not for kids. I that guess because... for kids at I all, guess because bro. Howard the Duck is connected to the Marvel Universe and Disney owns Marvel, so they're not going to let that happen, you Fuck know? Disney. Disney get everything. They made a deal with Sony to get all the Spider Man stuff to uh to Disney Plus. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. That's cool. Uh, I mean I guess. I want the Spider Man stuff on Disney Plus. I mean I do too. It makes me happy. But I just I just feel like I don't know, I feel like Disney doing too much, bro. I just hope they don't ruin nothing. So far we good though. They're gonna take over everything. So so far we good, but I don't want them to take over everything. I like having my different lanes to jump in. Mm-hmm. Everybody got different stuff, like you know what I mean? Netflix, I don't want them to. Netflix either. go heavy hardcore with shit. You know what I mean? When they do their originals, that's where you go if you want some adult, adult shit. Yeah. Like, you want to see some blood and guts. Prime does a real good job of that shit, too. Like, mm-hmm. maybe they kill, like, the adult themes, the violence, the dramatic, yeah. like, intense dramatic shit. Hulu has it, too. They're just not as good as either of those. Hulu, bro. I they need to step their game. They have all these ads in their shit now. Them. But yeah, Hulu part of Disney now. Is it really? Hulu, Jesus. bro. The Hulu app, I think, is going to be the first one to go away. Probably. Cause I, I'm like yeah. like you're a streaming service owned by a service that owns a, another streaming service. Yeah, it's gonna. Why die. the fuck do they need you? Yeah, it's gonna die. What's the point of that? It's, it's, it's crazy that uh, Disney owns that. It's gonna be like Hulu because it's gonna be Hulu Originals and it's gonna be a part of Disney Plus. 
Yeah, it's just gonna say Hulu bought out by Disney. Hulu doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. <laughs> like you know, I mean, but then, are they get the category because they do do their seasonal shit. Like they do do the. Like, they have Handmaid's Tale. They is do, that gonna go to Disney? Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. They do, they do the Halloween stuff every year. Yeah, they got holiday shit. They got a lot of shit that is on net. Yeah, they do. do that. That's original to that fucking network. But I feel like they'll just put it like fucking Disney Plus got Lifetime, like these different networks and apps mm-hmm. inside of Disney Plus. Yeah, it'll be some shit like that. Yeah, Disney's got that nostalgia for you too. They're gonna get Hulu the fuck up out of there, which I'm cool with though. Honestly, fuck it. Like, you know what I mean? That that green is a little too much when you turn it on. Should be kind of bright in my eyeballs. You know what I mean? <laughs> it but reminds number, me. But it's the least watched one. I think. I think it's the least watched one. It probably in is. My house for sure. Like. Uh, it reminds me of that South Park episode when uh, Randy tells Mickey Mouse that he's from South Park. And he's like, and then Mickey Mouse is like, huh, South Park, do I own that yet? And they're like, yeah. not yet, sir. And he's like, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, I remember that shit. It's fucking hilarious. Mickey Mouse episode, Michael Jackson episode, bro. Like, that was history. Yeah, Mickey Mouse beating the shit out of the Jonas Brothers is so fucking funny. He was like, <laughs> he's like, do we have a problem? And he was like, no, Mr. Mouse, because he just got his ass beat. And he goes, oh, good, because I thought we had a problem for a second. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> like, being a fucking G. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, apparently... Robert Downey, to celebrate what the fuck? I guess two years of in game or some fucking in game anniversary, he dropped the alternate snap scene. It's where, like, in the snap, he went to, like, some spirit. I didn't oh, watch Oh, yeah, it. where he talks with um, that's, some, some some chick. Yeah, I saw that a while ago. He talks with Black Widow because yeah. they both died. Some bitch. So, they're, so she, and she says something like, um,. You should have lived or something. And he's you like, don't. those damn sandwiches when you had to Yeah, you fucking dick. Get and then, uh, and he said, uh, he's like, don't, like, he was like, everything's fine. We can rest now or something. That was about it. It was just a quick conversation. Yeah, but they were just talking about today, like, how he released that footage and blah, 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 blah. Like, Endgame is over. Like, I see so much, like. I know. Like, did it. Not as good as Endgame. Or was Endgame. there actually chicken nuggets on the ground next to Thanos in Endgame on that final scene? Like, who oh. gives a fuck, man? That movie is fucking, it's over. It's done. They moving on. I'm nervous because I love my superhero movies, but at the same time, I'm tired of them. And then it's all changing. And I'm nervous except for Spider Man. Looking forward to Spider Man. What does Marvel got, bro? I'm nothing, nothing. Spider Man right now. <laughs> it's funny you said that. Julius Dell just confirmed that he's going to be in the next Spider Man movie, too. Who did he? Uh, oh, JB Smooth confirms that he'll return as Julius Dell in the Spider Man. Oh, JB Smooth? That yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who the fuck Julius Dell was. Yeah, I was I don't like, know the character name. Now, JB Smooth was fucking hilarious, though. Yeah, he's funny. Go, I, go he was it. on Movie 43 where. Chris Pratt was talk where man that movie so damn good, bro. So funny. so slept on, man. Yeah, it's so, I know. So slept people say it's the worst movie. I don't understand it. Yeah, those those sketches are fucking. That shit hilarious. is entertaining. Yeah, I was dying. But JB Smooth was uh, coaching Chris Pratt on how to shit on his girl. Yeah, he's like, you know, this is what you need to eat in order to make the shit like this, and like <laughs> he knew. I was so gross. <laughs> Stupid. That bro. scene was funny too, because then he's all backed up about to shit on her. It's the girl from Scary Movie, and that was his wife at the time. Yeah, I forget her name. Fuck, but uh. And she's like, no, no, because she's like, wants to do foreplay before he shits, and he's like, oh. like he's like, I can't. Yeah, he's I like, bitches, let me shit on you. Uh, I remember that shit. And then she like about shit. broke up with him, and then he gets hit by a car, and shit goes everywhere. So, like, yeah, bro, that movie was well done, bro. I think I know it's a lot of people out there that don't like linear, like non-linear shit. Yeah. So I can see that being, but it's a sketch thing, like. And it was all movie, the greatest like, superstars, like Halle Berry and fucking Hugh Jackman. Every, everybody, everybody, that was Michael, bro. Hugh Jackman with the fucking ball. Yeah, man, thing, bro. Come that on, is bro. hysterical. Just all that stuff, Come like on, bro. just how, seeing how, them in that light, being funny like that well, is he hilarious. He had to fucking clean the soup off his ball neck chin, bro. Yeah, and he's like, Come oh. on, and he how said he had a stutter. <laughs> like he's like, they used to get made fun of him for his stutter. How is that not funny? What about Halle Berry getting like all that? Pla- they were playing Truth or Dare. And you know, oh all that, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they went overboard. Yeah, yeah. It went way Dude, overboard. He ended up looking Chinese. Yeah, yeah, he she did. Had he the got big lips and, and the big ass titties. titties. Yeah. And then she like dropped this sh- her shit, and she was like yeah. doing all this. Like I would have never like thought Harry, Holly Berry would do this fucking. Yeah, sketch, they was you know what I'm saying? That's, def- that's definitely like if anything's Illuminati, that movie is Illuminati. Oh yeah, it's all the superstars <laughs> <so. laughs> embarrassing but, uh, themselves. I ain't on saying that word, bro. I ain't get to it. But uh, what else you got? You got something else over there? Um, does it make you mad that Elon Musk is hosting SNL? Going to be I just saw that too No I love Elon Musk I don't give a damn I fucking love Elon Musk He's a beast I don't give a damn either way Yeah I don't care There's people that's mad about that Like I just don't Why are you mad? Because he's not a comedian? Like who cares? He's fucking Elon Musk He's a beast He's goddamn Saturday Night Live First of all he's a fucking Dude I've watched Three of his podcasts With Joe Rogan And like he's not He's pretty funny And he's a super interesting guy But he's kind of like dull Like so I'm curious to see How he would host SNL You know what I mean So I'm actually I think that's cool Just out of curiosity You call that nigga a robot? Yeah he's a fucking alien For sure (laughs) That man is a robot 
I mean, he, the when he got the blunt, he looked at it like, huh? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the weed. Like, nigga, if you don't pass that shit, <laughs> you know, I'll smoke fucking 14 of those a day, nigga. Yeah, it was like what he was analyzing doing? it. Huh, I'm going to put this into my new flavor snout. Well, <laughs> you know? Robot huh. smokage. Huh. And Android love. Well, fuck a doodle doo. This is pretty good. Goddamn. <laughs> Android love here. Like I remember Joe Rogan's asking, he's like, "Do you sleep with all the stuff you?" Do? He's like, "Yeah, about six hours." And he's like, well, that's, "That's a lot." I thought actually. He's like, "Yeah, I used to try to go less, but six hours is the, the time I sleep." <laughs> I'm like, God, that's so, you know what I'm saying? Because he just does so much shit. Bro, what the fuck is wrong with that nigga? Yeah, man? I don't care. I love him. Elon Musk is a beast. I don't get why you named your kid like a bunch of numbers and letters though. That's kind of fucked up for you to do. Yeah, he's, he's weird for that. Bro. <laughs> like, He's weird. So I'm saying he's a fucking alien. He's weird. God damn it. Android, bro. You know, you know what Star Trek is? Data. You know what Data from Star Trek is? No, I never really got into Star Trek. That albino Trek. android dude who's super fucking smart, but then he could fight every now and again and do like android karate. Like, <laughs> but he was effective as nah, fuck. I don't know why Star Trek stiff always his, pissed Stiff his hair and effective, bro. I love Star Trek, bro. My, my mom even likes Star Trek and she could, does not care for Star Wars and all this. I just like, I don't get that. Star Wars is fucking awesome. because of my grandma, bro. Like my grandma and my, and my uncle. And yeah, my parents loved it. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Love that shit, bro. I mean, Patrick Stewart's that's cool. Shit. And next, then, uh, next generation, nigga. Next generation, <laughs> Deep Space Nine, Voyager. I don't yep. watch this new shit. That shit probably fire. Do you know William the Shatner? Mo- the movies was doodle. The new movies was doodle. The old movies oh, yeah. was, was, was heat. I heard the new movies sucked too. Bro, Captain Picard was a fucking pimp, nigga. What are you talking about? Do you know William he Shatner's face? All the alien bitches in the universe. He had I hope bitches so. with full titties. He had bitches with blue skin and full eyes. He had he had yellow bitches with red hair and no titties. He had all he had all the alien ladies. Well, that's a gross. No, it's not, I'm man. We out there in He's space. had the one with no titties. We out there in space. That is gross. <laughs> I don't know if you had that. I just said. But he out there in space with nothing else to do. Oh, that's crazy. For years and years and years. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess. I'm there with Whoopi Goldberg. Shit, they talking shit. Fucking talking about, you know what I mean, being extra smart. You're like, I can't take this shit today. I don't think Somebody I can. Somebody give me some space weed. This Listen, bitch just blew my mind. I don't. Hey, bring one of them full titty blue bitches. Uh-huh. I can't handle this shit today. It's pretty awesome. I am stressed <laughs> out. I ain't got no hair. You see this, goddammit? I see my future. I'm going to play a bald-headed nigga in the chair. You need to hurry up. <laughs> Play Professor X. You know what I'm saying? I get it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, you know what's crazy about Star did Trek? Did y'all get it? I hope everybody got the joke. Yeah. It was it was a good was joke. A terrible Jason. Joke. It was a terrible joke, but I still hope y'all got it. But uh, <laughs> it's just funny that we're talking about that because uh, it's funny. Elon Musk was they were he was talking about Star Trek, and he's like, "Isn't it crazy that like your smartphone today is better than any computer that was even created yet Big ten facts. years ago?" Big facts. And then he was like, even. And then him and Joe Rogan were talking about shit still faster than some computers today. Yeah, it's crazy. And then they were talking about Star Trek. Like even Star Trek couldn't predict our cell phone. You know what I mean? Like they had a supercomputer that would be like, um, computer, find just this. Wait, bro. You know what I'm saying? Okay, just wait though. But they didn't even think of like, you know, just like, wait though. Just wait. This nigga said even Star Trek couldn't predict. Star Trek is a fucking fictional show. I know. Star Do you Trek, not get what goes, I'm saying? No, I get what you're saying. It's like futuristic scientific I get, shit. I get what you're saying. And but even they, as a, like speaking, like all right, he they is too damn smart to use a fictional show in this example. Is what I'm saying. Listen though, but the writers and stuff are thinking of stuff that might be invented in the future. I get what you're right? saying. You couldn't even, even fathom them. to imagine. Exactly. I get it. I get it. But you're downplaying but why what I'm saying. Why didn't he fucking just say it? He but, wasn't talking shit. He was just saying it's crazy how the shit we have today because even Star Trek. I just think it's weird that he used a fictional know? show to make a real life point when that nigga is so close cool to technology and shit that he could have fucking said something that was so much more mind bending and like, what did that nigga just say? God damn. He, said he was like, but I get it. I get what he's saying. It's metaphorical. No, yeah. I get it. I get it. He like, did say, well, some stuff about that. They were talking about how but cell phones. I, I want to hear him say something else, nigga. He did. He like, talked about how cell phones give off ra- ra- radiation, shit. and some people were afraid. He like this one guy said he got ball cancer because his phone was in his pocket. And he goes, "That's the stupidest shit I've ever heard." Bro, and that he, was a, a big thing. Yeah, he was like, "That'll." Ne-, he's like, "He's like, you could wear a helmet of cell phones, and you'd never get cancer." Bro, like, every, that's, everything that's, give you cancer, nigga. Apparently, that's what he, I mean. He, I believe him. Like, you better not <laughs> sleep like that. I believe everything this dude says. You'll get knee cancer <laughs> for one hundred percent. Like if he says something's going okay, I'm like, you know, I I believe that. 
He should be president, but he's not from this country, so I don't think that's. God damn! Join the fucking cult, <laughs> bury him, bro. Get I'm some, just saying, get, I want someone smarter. Sew his name into your fucking underwear, dog. Do, don't you want someone smarter than you to be president? Yeah, but I don't. I don't feel like that's. Yeah, the case but right I don't now. know who that is yet, and I'm not believing none of these niggas. I believe Barack Obama nobody, was smarter than me. Ain't nobody proved shit to me yet of nothing. Like I don't. I just don't. I, I don't know. I'm I'm here. I'm, I'm just here, bro. Yeah. I, I'm right here trying to build. Was I build enough over here? Then I can worry about all that. Yeah. I don't give a damn. Well, I mean, think I'm just making fun of you because it's, I know because it's you and it's Elon. Yeah. And I, I make fun of everybody that likes Elon because I don't I don't hate Elon. I got nothing against him, but I think the nigga's hilariously weird. Oh yeah, I totally do too. I think that's why he's picked to be on SNL. He's you know super I mean? weird. I said, you know what I mean? Like yeah. super weird. He's an alien. Yeah. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Data, motherfucker. Oh, T T two thousand. What's that nigga from Terminator name that was trying to catch the Terminator? I think it was the T. Oh no, he is the Terminator trying to terminate Arnold, right? Yeah, the Terminator was the most was yeah, the still antagonist. Trying, he was yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. kill John Connor. Still, it's all about John. Oh yeah, Connor. yeah, yeah. He was protecting John Connor. That's right. That's right. That's right. Thanks for the refresh. Thank yeah, you yeah. Sarah Connor and Shane's mom is the same person. Shane, Shane, Shane John, Shane John Connor. Bro, it's fucking hot in this bitch. Uh, I don't know what else I got, man. Mortal Kombat. We do got Mortal Kombat, but I'm trying to make sure we ain't got all the bullshit. Um, kind of sort of good news for Yoda fans. The ghost in Star Wars might actually come back, return in future Star Wars movies. So we might get more Yoda scenes. We might get more Luke. We might get more Obi Wan. Uh, because apparently there was a scene in one of the older movies where, uh, with Darth and Obi Wan. Uh huh. And when Darth, when Obi Wan told Darth like, "If you destroy me, I'm gonna come back even stronger." Fight scene. Like I. It's some scene. I'm just recalling what I read because I don't remember all that. It's their. Shit. It's the fight scene. It's really like. It's like their big fight scene. It's, you know, it's funny since you say that. I was, yeah, but when uh, you were talking about remastered, they actually remastered that scene because if you watch that scene, like the old scene, it's just like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. it's terrible. And mm-hmm. then they remastered it. Like they had to put stunt doubles or some shit in there because it is like the, cr- bro, man, that yeah. shit is so fire. You should look that up. Yeah, but that's was, that scene though. He was saying that up. When Obi Wan said in there, like you destroyed me, I'll come back in faster. That was supposed to hint to He said, I'll come back stronger than you'll ever imagine or yeah, something like that. Yeah, but that was supposed to hint to like even after after death, like that's not like the final form is after death, pretty much. Right. Like max strength comes in that ghost one, but it's all like theories and shit. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just wrote down just because I want to see more Yoda. I was sorry when Yoda died. That's fucking stupid. But he didn't die. Because they didn't show enough of Yoda, bro. Right. Like, you know what I mean? They didn't show enough, like Anything. It's because they didn't have. The they're not really ghosts. Then. That's like force form. That's them yeah. as the force itself. Like. Right. Yeah. So it's totally different. You know what I mean? A little nerd moment. A little nerd moment. Mortal Kombat. Fire. I have some critiques though. You know. Of course, bro. But I but I said what? Like, hella critiques. Yeah. No, I enjoyed it thoroughly. But this is it's hella to critique for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. Uh, what do you like? With what? Start with what, man? How you feel? Right, well, what, 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 you know, I like the I like the movie like as a whole. It wasn't like it was it, it built up. You know the expectations weren't brought down. You know I love the movie. I was like cheering the whole time. Like with the, when they pay homage to the video game, like the way Kong Lao came up. Mm-hmm. It's literally exactly exactly like the game. Yeah. And that one scene where Liu Kang kept tripping Kane, and he's like, "Were well, you gonna keep doing the same move?" Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. and then he jumped up and then tripped him again. Like it's totally accurate to the video. Yeah, game. Yeah, bro, you know that's how everybody saying? used to play. Yeah, that was, that was funny. Are you gonna keep doing the video? Game? That was funny <laughs> as fuck. Yeah, that was funny. Fucking button mashing bastards. Yeah, but I had a problem with it. They didn't really show the tournament in the movie, so I guess the second there movie was will. no tournament. No bro. tournament. I was like, that's kind of because they they. they Make you think that there's tournament in the fucking trailer. Well, you know Shane Song fucking did some sneaky. He wanted to get and he rid was of like, him. Finish him. He wanted to get rid of him before the tournament, so they ain't having a choice but right. to get busy. But the trailer shows I, finish I, him and yeah. all these things to make you think that it's the. And they're like, you know, Kano wins. Like they showed all those things on purpose to make you think that the tournament is in this movie. And yeah, it pissed me off. Yeah, you know. Nah, but like, if you pay attention to the trailer where you can see the backgrounds. It's like all random as fuck. But it had me thinking like in the first movie, how they had them all in different random designations. Yeah, fighting. I was just about to say that. I yeah. thought it was something like that, but. Yeah, that was a kill because the whole movie felt like built up. And that's one thing I kind of hate about movies. Even though yeah. it didn't change how I felt because it's fucking more complicated. It's exactly right. It's a big build up. <clears throat> it was just one big build up, which is not enough if you don't follow it. And right right now, characters. right now it's cool. Especially showing the little Johnny Cage, Easter egg at the end and shit. They did that for the fans because people were pissed, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? They probably did, but now they got to put him in there if they're going to yeah. do another one. Facts. And I think they're going to come to the realization that you got to do another one. Um. The acting was still cheesy. Yeah, it was definitely cheesy. I, it, I, it, it was it was good enough. Sonya Blade was terrible, but her choreography and her fighting Cole was, was terrible. excellent. Her fighting was excellent. Yeah, she was good. Cole, Cole was terrible fighting, acting, period. Yeah, yeah, His character was fucking unnecessary. Yeah, I, I didn't like um, it either. I hated the way Luke Kang looked. He had a girl face. 
And like his body was really weird. Like when he first flexed, bro. Yeah. Like look, it, it look his head looks like it's not on his body. It like either his head is CGI or his body is CGI. It looked really weird. I but hope they didn't CGI. But that's that's something minor. Like, but no, I'm saying it's not. But, but you're right. That's though. how he looks. Yeah. Like, he's like really fucking weird looking, bro. Like the compared to the first Luke Kang. That Luke Kang was. Perfect. These are just petty things. That Luke Kang was perfect. The first Luke Kang, you couldn't do better. Yeah, and his acting was good. Yeah, you can't. He do looked better. perfect. He was fucking ripped too. I mean, he was like. He even did the oh, like just like in the video yeah. game too. Like he yeah. was, he was perfect. He was basically Bruce Lee, exactly. You can what tell Luke he Kane's played the video be. games growing up too. Like, yeah, you know what I mean, like I got that role. Oh shit, I'm waiting for this bitch. You know, he was the kid that was like, I'm Luke Kang. Yeah, and he was outside playing. He's like, always Luke Kang to me, even when he's in Beverly Hills Ninja with Chris Farley. I was like, there's Luke Kang. Like yeah, when I was a kid. Right. <laughs> uh, Raiden was cool. I didn't see uh, that was um, my. I didn't like Raiden. I liked his his character. I didn't like. He didn't do shit. I didn't really like, yeah, like I didn't like what they did. Like they didn't really do nothing. Yeah, I like the character. They kind of just made him an asshole. You know what I'm saying? But nobody really had, but Raiden was an asshole though. Yeah. He was though. Like he was all about saving fucking whatever Earth Realm. Like he was, didn't give a fuck how it was done. I just didn't think it was good. It didn't go, it didn't go good with the game in my opinion. Oh, he, you was, know? he was an asshole. Char- Remember he fucked up everything in the game. Yeah, but he, he was, fucking lost his noodle. But he was, no, but he was wise and he would give advice and he was peaceful too. He was yeah, about but we peace. ain't got time for that. This yeah. was, this was in a crisis. But he was actually we peaceful, we not an asshole. We didn't get to see that much. He, we were just in a crisis, like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was it. Like, But, yeah, he was, like, super aggressive to the motherfuckers on his side. Like, But he did that to kind of push. The one time he was being mean, he did the pushing, though. Like, when he sent Cole home. Yeah, I didn't get that. And I he knew that girls were going to come, so he, like, he pushed, and he was like, mm-hmm. thank you, something. He's, I don't know. He said something either to himself or somebody. I remember that. I mean, he didn't even do shit to fight, either. Like, when they were t- attacking yeah, he him. He didn't, he didn't do a goddamn he, he, thing. He just blocked. <laughs> yeah. He just blocked. Well, because he was trying to stick to the fucking rules and be honorable and wait for the tournament and shit. Yeah. Because Shang Tsung was trying to block it. Like, but it wasn't enough of them anyway. Like, yeah. Like, the presentation, the, the thunder in the eyes was fire. Yeah, that was cool. It wasn't enough of The any, way he disappeared and shit was dope. I feel like you got more Son- Sonya and Jack's story than anybody's. And Kane. Well, and, well Kano. We, yeah, yeah, Kano and, and Scorpion, I guess. Because it, it just yeah, kept it started, flashing in. But it, yeah. yeah, it started with him. But then it wasn't him. Yeah, right. For the whole damn movie. For the whole movie. And that was another critique. I was like, yeah, and, was... Until, until the end. You know what yeah, I mean? that, that, that was lame. But if everything... He'll be in the next one, though. There can be... Sub-Zero can be, because, like, Behan had a son. I'm pretty sure some shit didn't end up being Sub-Zero. Nah, he, I bet or he's... Or something weird happened, like... Well, in the games and in the even in the old movie, it, they, his, his brother ends up becoming Sub-Zero. Like, he has yeah. a younger brother, and then... That Sub Zero becomes Noob Cybot. So since so, so I think that'll happen. I think it'll be Noob Cybot. But either way, like I don't know how they're gonna continue this. I don't know, like I don't know how they're gonna do this. Like if they do continue, it's gonna be weird. I think. Yeah. Like just because of the way they set it up. Well, I don't like they kill Kong Lao already. You know, like um, because now he won't be. I mean, even at the end of the movie, Shang Tsung said that you know even as they die, they're not really gone or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I know that's why all the bad people are gonna come back. But is Kung Lao gonna come back? You know, like that's kind of fucked. Well, Kung Lao came back multiple times though, like in the in the fucking, oh, like in the original shit. Yeah, I mean, I just because even in like what Mortal Kombat three, he was like the spirit of Kung Lao. I wasn't even like. You mean in the games? Yeah, it was yeah. Like, it was like the reincarnated him. Yeah, like, totally. I mean, but it, what pissed me off is they don't even use him in the old movies. Like uh, Liu Kang says, he's a descendant of Kung Lao, yeah. but they never have him. And then now they actually have him, which is an awesome thing. And then, and then I, I, just I feel thought, like he didn't fit there. Yeah, I mean, and like he could have though. Like I feel like where they started with the story, like from the story we know, I feel like all these things happen in way, way Real further quick. apart. Yeah. In the real story, and they just smashed a bunch of timeline together. Kind of like the Justice League did the first time. Yeah. You know? But, uh, and I didn't like how Shang Tsung, like, it was cool to watch him take the soul, because I was hoping that was going to happen at some point. But what I didn't like is, if he's that powerful, he could just pull dude over from that far and take his fucking soul away. Why Why is that the only time he did that? Yeah, a lot of people, a lot lot of people, a lot of people were bitching about uh, how soft Shang Tsung was. I mean, yeah, like, that was, that was savage. Why didn't you try? He didn't even attempt to do that another time, even yeah. the beginning or, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. So it's just weird. It just doesn't, like, none of that adds up. I don't know, brother. Those uh, are basically all the positives I have. Yeah, yeah. Positive. positive Sub-Zero was fucking fire. That shit Sub- where he was terrorizing the, the city and Sub-Zero shit. Sub-Zero was fire, but fuck him, Team Scorpion all day. <laughs> um, I didn't like how they made him so much stronger than Scorpion. Like, Scorpion didn't need no Cole help. Cole's fucking, another bad critique, fuck. His fucking armor shit was trash. Cole, yeah, I, like what does that do, bro? You can see it peeling in the back. Like they kind of fucked up on a lot of effects. Like at the end, when Sub Zero was dead and he started walking off the ice, uh-huh. and they like did the overhead camera, uh-huh. you can see it squish in. Oh, really? It was like a mat, like a wrestling mat. <clears throat> when they walk off, you can see it like go in under his foot, like something soft. Oh shit! Like you can see his little fucking armor coming unfastened in the back. Oh wow! 
Like, you see it opening up in the back. Like, they didn't really try hard with that part. That's funny. You know what I mean? But, like, other than that, the kills was fire. The char- I, the I characters thought the power were fire. The choreography was fire. I thought the idea of the powers coming from the uh, symbol was cool, and you had yeah, to be, yeah, yeah. you had to beat somebody to get the nah, symbol. Nah, that was dope. That makes sense. That I think that's dope. cool. I don't think I've ever done that before. Yeah. What I didn't like is that Jax's power is his shitty arms become better arms. That's the stupidest fucking thing. You know what well, I'm saying? I think it's more to it than that. Though. No, because they built him these terrible ass. No, nah, I know, but I still know? think it's something more to like. I don't think they just rebuild it. Something. I think it's something mystical behind it. Well, maybe, yeah, but like I, I think it's like some magical type of strength. I think it's some magical kind of connection for him to be able to control him. Like, you know what I mean? I think that the well, extra I think so armor too. is like some kind of like magical energy from inside of him. Like, I think he's way more stronger than what we know yet. I hope so. I just you know like, I, mean? I just like they built in these shitty arms and then his power is, I mean, like you said, I mean, that's probably true. And it's it just, just wasted yeah. on just giving him better arms. It, it is stupid you feel me though, though, like to just give him, yeah. You like, work for how, the government. How, they could have built his yeah. new arms and then he could have got a superpower. But so. they, but, you know. No, but well, how much can you do with just mechanical science like that? If you got a mystical and magical connection, these arms are seamless. They ain't connected to you by any like gears and motors. They magically connected to you now. Like, you know what I mean? You mm-hmm. got like a magical metal. Like, you know what I mean? Like, imagine like Colossus just made his arm steel. Mm-hmm. Ain't no gears and metal. It's just now I got steel arms, nigga. Like, these are, it's like no different than having my normal arms, but now they steel and even stronger. And like, then could clap and do sound waves. Well, I get that because that, that's like remember, cyborg. That's, that's, cyborg. That's what I'm thinking. Cyborg. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking, but like, without the, just more magical. Yeah. Cyborg is still like mechanics with the magic that increased. Yeah, it was like and it, changed. technology. Well, yeah, still, yeah, pretty much know? that. After yeah. after the mother fucking thing, the mother box, mother thing, box really and got his ass. Created him. Yeah. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Then it's kind of I don't know. That's 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 what I'm thinking because that's the only thing it'd be because like. It don't make sense. Yeah, I thought for sure they were like, going to keep building his arms. he could arms. barely do it. Yeah, like, I mean, he was like, ugh. And like, think, think about it. Wow. With no real nerve connectings, how the fuck are you going to use bigger arms than that? I mean, how yeah. the fuck are you going to do anything with them? Like, yeah. It was funny. He's like, these just came ain't up me. And he was like, ugh. Yeah, he was like, these, these just ain't me. Yeah. I'm like, well, no shit, because you were buff before, and you had these little twig yeah, m- metal things. Skeletal metal arms. Yeah, it was cool when he broke dude's head, and he was like, oh, yeah, these motherfuckers are nice, or something like that. I mean, yeah. that was cool. Yeah. But, uh. I hated Sonya Blade's character, but she can fight. Her choreography was fire if it was her and not a stunt double. You know what I mean? Like, I like the power they gave her because that's actually in the video game. She yeah. does have this pink. I, I didn't remember that until she did that. Yeah. I couldn't remember, like, what the fuck was Sonya Power B, bro? That never always was a thing. She used to have a gun. She would just shoot a gun at you and throw yeah. bombs and stuff. And then eventually in the game, she they started giving her this yeah. pink shit to make her different. Yeah, yeah. You know? She was like, she had one she was shooting at yeah. yeah, I remember that shit. So it was cool they gave her that. No, nah, that was dope. That was, that was, that was so dope. I want to know, like, is, is Raiden's powers from this fucking. This symbol is Shang Tsung. Rain, all them. Rain's a god, nigga. Right. That's what I was saying. Like I was wondering that though. Everybody else is getting like these powers, like, and they were making it nah, seem I th- like. I think they gods, homie. Like, okay. I think. Like, Sh- Shang, Shang Tsung is pretty much a sorcerer. Yeah, he's a sorcerer, right? Yeah, but I think they're from a different. Quan Chi's a sorcerer. Yeah. I hope they bring him in the movies. Quan Chi would be. Well, Raiden is like an Earth god. Yeah. He... Shang Tsung is from Outworld. They different. Um, Shao Kahn is from Outworld. Yeah. Like and they then, all, uh, all them niggas from Outworld. Yeah. When Sub Zero wasn't, I don't think, but he went and. Join the ass or yeah, something. Yeah, because Sub Zero had powers and Scorpion didn't have powers in the beginning. He was just a yeah. badass, right? Yeah, he got yeah. his powers when he went to hell. Yeah, yeah. So maybe it's where he's from. And I, I don't know. But that would mean that Sub Zero, because he's from China, he has, uh, you know, he got ice powers. And because Scorpion's from Japan, he didn't get any. Like, I don't know. I don't know yeah. how that how that would work, really. How was the get over here for you? Was the get over here impactful? I knew they would change it. They changed the tone and everything. It was cool. Yeah. 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 It was just cool because, you know, it's it's nostalgia. I love it. Bro, it's like... I wasn't like, oh, that's dumb. Nothing's you know? better than the fucking old movie, bro, when he said, get over here, his thing got stuck, and then he said, come here. You know, yeah. He did both, like, nothing, and it sounded just like the video game. Yeah, the come They used the exact video game. Do you know what was like, shitty like about Mortal that, Kombat though? Mortal 2 or 3 version. Do you remember his spear? Yeah, it was like... Yeah, it was a fucking snake. It was alive. Yeah, it was you remember a that? snake, but yeah, yeah. Because it twisted around, it was like yeah, trying yeah. to bite, and... I'm glad they didn't do that shit. I like the knife better. It makes no, it kinda, way cooler. I kind of like that thing, especially since he like a fucking from hell. That I makes mean, sense. Yeah. I That's guess fire. he does pull his whoa. He does pull his face off in that one and blow fire. That was you yeah. know. And I thought he was. Gonna, uh, it was the he, he pretty fire much, yeah, that and then like peel it away. Like, yeah, that, that was sick. That was dope as fuck. That was dope as fuck. I was super happy about that. Um, it just honestly, bro. Like let me talk about it. I loved it because it's like it's not a movie you don't like if you just from a certain cough. Like when it comes to pop culture and video games or whatever, you're gonna like the movie. Yeah, but. As we talk about it, so much that could have been done better. Yeah. And I feel like, like the second so one will be better. Much that could have been done. They need to change. I wouldn't be mad if they changed Luke Kang. That's it. 
Like, don't be mad they changed Duquesne. They got to be real careful who they bring, who they get to play Johnny Cage. I wouldn't be mad if they changed Rayton. Speaking of Johnny Cage, okay. they they're talking. Um, there's you know fans at requesting Ryan Reynolds to be Johnny Cage. Nah. Because of his attitude. But then you're just being – it's just Ryan Reynolds all the time, right? I mean, I would be okay with it. That'd be Ryan funny. Ryan Reynolds' asshole. Just a loud Ryan mouth. Reynolds' asshole is too likable. Johnny Cage wasn't that likable of a dude. Nah, that's true. You're, you're supposed like to not – Johnny, yeah, yeah, Johnny Cage is like an asshole asshole. I was like, man, this nigga is like they cheesy, also, funny, like my sunglasses. Uh, yeah. Those are $300 sunglasses, asshole. <laughs> that's from the first one. Yeah. But, I I mean, I did like Johnny Cage in the first one, but it's because I was a kid, maybe. Nah, yeah, but I'm saying, you know, like, I, I, think, get what I think Ryan saying, Reynolds would be too much fun. Like, yeah. They I also mean, asked like, for uh, Cyclops from X-Men. I could be wrong, man. I'm just being on my hateful J shit today. What'd you say? They yeah. uh, they also asked for, uh, I forget his name. Uh, he uh, I know Cyclops from X-Men. I know you're talking about. Yeah. That looked better. Yeah. Could you see that? I mean, that he's actually better. really fucking funny. I think he can. I, 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 yeah, but I, he, I can he, guarantee he can he do it. He got that super serious smug shit, too, though. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, It's James uh, Mars, Marsden. Jones. What? James Mars, Marsden. I don't know how to say his name. Oh, I know that name. Yeah, that's his name. Yeah, yeah. I know that but he's really good. I mean, he's a, you know, I like him in a bunch of shit he's in. Um, so I can see that, I guess. James Marston. Yeah, I don't know if I said that right. James Marston. But what about that Kong Lao's fatality? That was fire. Oh, when he slid the bitch across the fucking yeah. thing, bro? That was fire. Yeah. That was fire. I was surprised they put Natara, uh, Natario in there. I think that was her name. Because they only use her in one game. She's a vampire. Yeah, so yeah. I was surprised that she was even in the movie. Yeah, she popped out Randall. Yeah, that's why she died so quick. There's so many obviously. characters they can use, bro. How you feel about, uh, Oh, Cabal. They had Cabal in it. That Cabal was sick. Cabal was hard. That was sick. I was so that mad. was the best done character. When he came out, I was like, damn. They like, had his sound and everything. The yeah, sound he looked he made perfect. When he moved around. Like, and they made him kind of funny and a little bit of an asshole. Yeah, bro. You know? Hey, uh, that was the best done character. Yeah, I think I agree. Him and Jax are my favorite, too. Yeah, like, I like Jax. They, I think they, they did got him really they well. Got him, they got him, like, perfect. Like, yeah, I think they did Jax They didn't Jack miss super nothing well. with those two characters. Like, yeah, and Sub-Zero, obviously, Sonya was Sonya was pretty good, too. Her acting was just bad. Yeah. But, like, her, she was getting busy, though, bro. Yeah. Like I said, she was getting busy. She probably knows how to fight, She maybe. was fucking Kano ass up, bro. Yeah, that was dope. He was like, oh, I'm Twice. about to beat your ass. Like, nope, nigga, mm-hmm. you about to get this work real quick. Yeah, man. that was but fire. That shit was fire as fuck. Uh, Way better than the original Sonya. Oh, yeah. That, that's, uh, what's her name? Um... Veronica Vaughn from Billy Madison. Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Jax, Cabal. Like, perfect. Yeah. Now, is there any more? Sub-Zero. Kung Lao was actually... I mean, I thought Kung Lao was pretty good. I mean, too, too he was young, corny. Bro. His acting like, sucked, he but look he like looked... A, he didn't look like an ancestor. Um, You feel me? Yeah. He didn't give ancestor vibes, like, if, you know, if that makes sense. They had his movements just perfect, you know? Like, no, like, and, then, and then all that stuff. Choreography-wise. Yeah, he, yeah, he did, like, he did Everybody the Everybody killed perfect. their choreography. Yeah. When he, when, he's, when he teleported out of the floor, just like in the video game, I was like, damn, that was pretty fire. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just came out looking like a 15-year-old. Kind yeah. Of threw me off. I wonder how many people noticed that. But, uh, mm. and I thought, I mean, Shang Tsung, like, yeah, he was, pretty, he was pretty soft, but, I mean, someone just pointed this out. He I didn't realize. Though, bro. He ain't supposed to do all that. Like, yeah. Even, yeah. in, even in the game, his moveset was doo doo. Yeah, did you recognize him? Someone had a, someone pointed it out to me. I was like, oh shit. He, he is isn't something, but I can't fucking think. He's of. in the the Dark Knight. He was that uh, Asian guy who was can, yeah. he was handling the money. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, and the Joker called him I Squealer. I even saw him on one of my lady's shows today, like that she watched. He was like on the interview. Oh yeah. And because uh, he was talking about how his family was rooting against him, mm-hmm. and he was watching the movie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, dude, the original nobody could be. How does it feel to be such a bad guy that your own family is rooting oh against God. your character? He's like, well, ha, huh, you know. Um, it's cool. I was Shang Tsung. We had bagels on the set, cream cheese and bacon scalica. Oh my god! The the best Shang Tsung was the original Shang Tsung though. From there, man. Oh, bro, everything that dude do is fire, bro. When yeah, maybe Johnny when, Tsunami. When he play a Mexican gangster, he fire. When he play an Asian badass, he fire, bro. They have him playing everything, bro. Um, he's played all the races. Nigga, he's played Indian really? chief. <laughs> I could see that. Yeah, I could bro. see the Indian though. I think he came. I think he Cambodian. His name is Kerry. I bet he's Jap- Japanese based on his name. Horiaki Tagawa. Oh, oh, I don't know. Uh, that made my head hurt, bro. I'm stop. I know, I, it kind of made my head hurt and made me hungry at the same time. He is. Uh, he's Japanese ethnicity and has a citizenship in since in uh, United States and Russia. What the fuck? I thought I was about to say Cincinnati. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. He's got a citizenship in Cincinnati and Russia. Like, why is that? Hey, but goddamn it, he was the best Shang Tsung ever, dude. Bro, he was so he good at that. Everything he do, he killed, bro. He a beast. Bro. Oh yeah. Back then, anyway. Back then, back in the day. Right. Back in the day, he had his. He had his. He, he had. He had his lane for sure. He did the voice in the in the new Mortal Kombat game as Shang Tsung. Like, he did Shang Tsung's voice for that new Mortal Kombat game, which I think is super dope. Yeah, that's you know fire. what I mean. That nigga make a fire like nature narrator. Oh yeah, he would. Like fucking 
He's like lions hunting the fucking gazelle. He's, like the, he's the Japanese like James Earl Jones. That's what he is. That's fucking. I don't know what to say about that. That's a compliment. That's what it is. <laughs> I, I didn't. I, I didn't know. I don't, hey, I don't want to talk. I almost want to show you. Know, you this podcast. Is I almost want to show you Anthony Mackie in this picture right now from. Bro, Winter just, Soldier Just hold it bro I hate that nigga Can dude. I please show you this picture just Or do you want to just watch bro. the show watch Yeah it's let me just, just watch the show bro I didn't even okay. tell you What the fuck you talking about Anthony Fox. You'll know what I'm talking about you It's his costume No I hate that nigga We got like a white Is it a white one Like a white yeah, costume Yeah there's white in it I saw like a picture of him Like with a white face Like looking this, this way It looks so funny <laughs> It's so bad Shane is fucking high <laughs> Shit bro I am not It's just dumb Shut your ass up man like, What else we got bro Mortal Kombat was fired up bro Uh Best best kill of the kill of the kill of the movie for you. What was your favorite? It was kill? Kong Lao's kill. Favorite kill? Where he chopped her completely. I can't even in think half. of no other kills, bro. Um, I can think of some. So, uh, Kano ripped reptiles' heart out. Uh, that was trash. Um, I hated that reptile too. Hell, trash. Scorpion breaking Jax's arms is pretty fucking close. Jack smashed uh, Sub Zero. Yeah, Sub Zero. Jack smashed Ra- Rakim's head. That mm-hmm. was kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, Sonya stabbed Kano in the eye. Yeah, the Kong Lao chopping dude in half was freaking dope. That was fire. Yeah. Uh, Liu Kang's kill was with the dragon fire thing. You remember that? He, like, put... Oh, who did he fight? Oh, it was Cabal. Oh, yeah, he it brought it up. Yeah, that yeah. was out of nowhere, too. Yeah. That was fire. Um, bro, Cabal was fire, bro. Cabal was The way they did it. He's like, oh, am I too fast? <laughs> <laughs> that shit, like, that character was perfect, bro. Yeah. Like, fucking bounty hunter type. You know... Uh, sorry. Go ahead. Well, go ahead I was gonna say I did love that part. Say, you when, know, uh, sorry. <laughs> I just realized I interrupted. You, you know, uh, uh, that one part where they figured out a plan at the end, and they were like, "What if we go and we'll teleport to their areas, and you know, bring the fight to them?" And then they were like, uh, "And it meant like Sonya was like, please give me that um, with the bitch with the teeth.'" And she yeah, was yeah, like, yeah. "No, you're gonna get Kano." Melina. You know, and Melina it, was fired too. Melina was fired. That part where she opened her mouth. Woo! That was hey, that was kind of sexy too. Sexy and gross. Bro, did you see her fat ass, bro? When it showed her looking off in the bro, distance, shame, I was bro. like, "Sorry, stop, stop degrading women." I'm bro. sorry, bro. God, yeah, she did. Hey, hey. fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> she was like off by herself, just yeah. grinning in the uh, in the she in the distance, and I was like, "Oh shit!" They did that on purpose. She had the fat ass. Yeah, they gave her leggings on purpose. What is that from? She had the fat ass. That's from something, bro. It was the fat ass, not up fat ass. I, I think it was from Kevin Hart's stand up. Maybe. Where he was like, where he wants his dude to lie for him, and then he was like, oh, yeah, 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 it is. It is, it is. Dude never knows how to lie for him. That's my nigga, bro. <laughs> hey, Shane, what was that from? What? What did he say? Oh, yeah, nigga, that's from uh, Tupac and the Two Toasts of the Butter Bread. That's what that's from. He Part said, Do you remember that girl from. He's like, Oh, yeah, she had the she fat had ass. He's like, Man. <laughs> right, we're <laughs> Whatever his name was, I can't remember. Man, that's classic shit. Kevin Hart, bro, get your shit together. Hey, but how did she die? How did Melina die? That I was can't fine. remember. I can't remember. I can't. Oh remember. yeah, I it remember. was supposed to be our movie on the screen. I remember. Sonya, Sonya Blaster with the beam in it. Oh shot yeah, all the way through, ah. and you can see her spinal cord and Melissa everything. Went, yeah, man. that was fire. All right, what do you give it out of five puffs, bro? Uh, with bias, without bias, I'm okay with bias. This is a show where four. we embrace our biases because I'm giving it five. I'm gonna do four. I would say if it was a I'm one, it five puffs because I will watch it five more times. Yeah, I'd watch it again. Puff it five more to. times. All right, I'm a, I'm but a, if it I'm was one out of ten, would you give it a ten? Four and a half. I'm gonna give it four and a half. No, because I would, I, give, I would it give, I would give it a nine. You would give it a nine? Okay. Just out of bias. Yeah. Okay. Being realistic though, if I'm being a hundred percent realistic, it's getting like a three puff. Yeah. If I gotta like break it down and look at it and look at it and re look at it, it's a three puff and maybe like a six and a half, seven out of ten. That's pretty good. If, if I I'm, if I had to really critique it, it's not it doesn't it's not ranking that high, my nigga. Hey, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, I was right. It's got a fifty five percent on Rotten Tomatoes and a six point three out of ten on IMDb. And I don't agree with either of those. You I know. said six and a half, seven out of ten. If um, I had if I had to critique critique If it. I was doing on a real critique, I'd give it a seven. If I wasn't a fan, yeah. Should it probably get a five, my nigga. All right, like opening ninety one percent. No, no, that's that's harsh. That's harsh. That's harsh. I'm forgetting I'm forgetting the choreography. I'm forgetting the choreography. It'd be a seven easy. If I had to critique it, it'd be a seven at the least. Okay. It would be... The audience score was an 87. Three and a half out of five. Uh, That's pretty per- good. Percentage, it would be... Struggling to give it like an 83. Really? 84. That's pretty, it's pretty nice. Struggling to give it that. It's way better than the Because I kind of want to give it like a 79. Well, because of the length of it, you know what I mean. Char- character development, you know all the shit I be looking at, bro. Like it be same shit yeah. you be on. Like, so if I gotta look at all those things, it's not gonna score too high. Well, let's compare it to 
the uh, the the 1995 movie. What did I get? It got a 44 percent and a 5.8 out of 10. Mm. Let's see the audience score. 44 percent. The first movie, the old ones. Yeah, 95. See, I can't do those. Damn. I, I can't honestly. The audience score is a 57. That's I can't awesome. honestly do those because I watch them as a kid. If I watch them now, they those those scores are probably higher than what I would get. Oh yeah, I could be honest with that one though because I know there's like I watched it not too long ago as an adult and I was like, fuck man, this is bad. I, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I watched it like uh, fucking a week ago, two weeks ago. Yeah. Because I was gonna do the reviews, but I didn't. I didn't. Let's see the other. one. I think the other one's 98, maybe. 98, maybe. Maybe it's 96. Maybe it came out a year later. I don't know. But you got anything else, bro? Why are you looking at my facts? You got anything else? It is kind of late. I got to get some fucking food, man. I'm starving. We record late as hell today. It's my fault. I had to get... It was Tom Tuesday. I had oh, to get the video out for you guys. You know what I mean? It's just a lot of things, man. It's a lot Damn. of things. Damn. Shit's getting crazy. What? Guess what the second Mortal Kombat movie got? What did it get, bro? It's, anni- it's Annihilation. Mortal Kombat Annihilation. 32? No. 2018? No. 7? No. 5? <sighs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Two Damn Yeah And the IMDB gave it a 3.7 out of 10 you know, you know what That one is definitely Not because of these ratings I is I can definitely admit It's significantly worse Than the first one For sure The only thing good about I mean everything was Pretty bad about this one The, the new The rating was different Shao Kahn was pretty fucking awful You know it's Just some of the fight scenes Were cool But even the biggest fight scene Is remember in Liu Kang and Shao Kahn They turned into these Big creature animals Remember Shao Kahn Was like that that Greek mythology thing with all the heads, and then Liu Kang found his animality and became this dragon yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. You remember that shit? Yeah, yeah. Oh, how fucking awful that is. Oh my god. So I, I get still it. love that movie. I know. Bro. Feel your animality. Your animality. Your I still animality. love it. It was trash. It's the only part with Night Wolf. This dude was trying to argue with me on Facebook about Mortal Kombat, and he was like, "I th- he was like, I thought it was it was okay, but the the first one was better." And uh, and I just said my piece. I was like, "Well, I mean, I like that this one went all out." You know, it was rated R. It had this stuff, and yeah. you know, so I, I definitely like it more. He was like, the first one was way better. They had everybody in it. They had Shang Tsung. They had Sonya Blade, Night Wolf, and I was like, bro, Shang Tsung and Sonya Blade was in this one, mm-hmm. and Night Wolf wasn't even in the first movie. He was in the second movie. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and then uh, yeah, and just motherfuckers are stupid. Night Wolf wins. Fucking Night Wolf. Those are the only things I argue about on social media. I don't argue about <laughs> nothing else. But I'll argue with you about movies because you're wrong. <laughs> bro, stop telling people they're wrong, bro. They don't like that. No, I don't care. Stop telling people they're wrong. You're bro. fucking you don't wrong. Like that. You gotta, wrong. you gotta, you gotta get in their face. Like you're wrong. That's just a wrong fact. <gasps> that's that's wrong. That's not even a. Hey, you start based. tagging motherfuckers who are wrong. He's putting face like this week. These motherfuckers was wrong, <laughs> bro. That shit drives me nuts. Just piss people off. Like, like you was wrong, and you're gonna come. You're gonna be the actually the guy. You talking about nigga? Well, actually, shit, nigga, you was wrong. Let me hey, tell you. You want to tell you what you was you wrong? Were, at? It was at this day. Right, remember we was at the fucking chilies, and you said that fucking big bag ribs and that wasn't that chilies. And I told you. That's what they had the song got chili. You said it was TGI Friday. Baby back with Bitch, you're wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And actually, that movie came that, that came from Austin Powers, Spy Who Shagged Me. And then the week before that, you had a nerve to tell me it wasn't no cheddar biscuits at Red Lobster. <laughs> it was Applebee's. Then we got that Applebee's. They are right by lobster, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, they are. You know what I'm saying? This is what I said, man. You know, you look. Oh, that we don't get out this bitch, really though, listen. man. Shane ain't got nothing else to say, bro. Shout out Shane's mom. Shout out my mom. You know what I'm saying? Shout out everybody. Thank y'all for. Well, we just hit a. Where we at? Where we at? I'm, I'm on the page. You know what I mean? I was watching Premiere. I was checking it out a little bit. 5,600 subs. You know what I'm saying? Join the join the join Havel's neighborhood, bro. The little group is five dollars a month. If you want to contribute, I'm not pressing nobody to do nothing they don't want to do. But it's gonna be a whole lot of content over there, even if it's just five people and me. We gonna be getting busy. Y'all gonna miss now, and I don't give a damn what you don't see. It's your fault. You gonna be stuck in the house with cicadas, not having a good time, hanging out with me and my friends. Oh, here's cool. Stand by me returns to theaters for its 35th anniversary. Miss don't like give a good goddamn about that shit. You don't like Stand by Me. Oh, stand by me too. Right. So shut your bitch ass up. We gonna get the fuck up out of here, Shane. You got anything else you wanna say for real, man? Um, Any suggestions for the people? What should people do? What are you having for dinner? What's the best thing to eat for breakfast? Do you put graham crackers in your yogurt? What's going on with Shane? I mean, granola. Um, uh, Look at everything positive. Positive. Exercise. Exercise. Be healthy. Health. Don't just be fat with diabetes sitting around waiting for a vaccine. Go make yourself healthy. You know what I'm saying? You know hey, what I'm saying? One, one day a week, eat tacos. Yeah. You one can do day that. a week, eat you tacos. Smoke lots of weed. Weed, water, wine is the diet. You know what I'm saying? All the healthy stuff that Shane said. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And quit crying. And, and tacos won't speak. Yeah, please, everybody yeah, quit, quit crying. crying. You know what God I'm saying? Damn. Watch some old Saturday morning cartoons from the 90s and make you feel better. We might start doing Saturday morning cartoon live streams. It's a site I can watch all that. Y'all want to watch some Saturday morning cartoons with me? All the old motherfuckers like me? Let's do it! 
Hell yeah. Let's smoke some weed. We gonna do it. You two don't like people smoke weed, so I ain't, you know. Whatever, whatever man. MBS Podcast, Hey, Sugar Shane, Live, Laugh, Love, Roll, Light, and Smoke It. Everybody love everybody. There you go, man. Oh Stop god. being assholes. What you got? You guys, you found something? Yeah. He said, "Oh my god, what you got?" This bro? woman just got charged with a felony for a 21-year-old unreturned Sabrina the Teenage Witch v- uh, VHS rental. Man, get the fuck out! Says here. ever lost a VHS rental in your couch cushions? You could be next. Hey, listen, bro. The words they spelled, the, the police are beating up Negroes like hotcakes. I don't want to hear that shit. Fuck you, lady. We out this bitch. Shout right. Dave Chappelle, man. One day, man. What that meet? What that meet you, dog? We go uh, do a show together. Hey, definitely. Call. Call Chappelle, the effing Chappelle. We're going to go see you, see your stand up for sure. BS. That's the that's, thing that's going to happen. Hey, don't be assholes, man. We're going to see y'all next week, though. All right, Much love. Appreciate y'all. Stay sexy, San Diego. What? Go fuck yourself, San Diego. I said, you know, I would never say fuck. I would never fucking say fucking fuck. Got you out of my head, yeah. They fake as hell. But I'm grinding, going hard, yeah. Too loud.